हाई एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू फ्रेंसिक्स विद वी एम आई होप यू आर आर डूइंग गुड सबसे पहले आप सभी को स्वतंत्रता दिवस की बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं अ वेरी हैप्पी इंडिपेंडेंस डे टू ईच एंड एवरी वन हु इज़ वॉचिंग द वीडियो राइट नाउ तो आज का जो सेशन होने वाला है वो बात करेंगे हम लोग जो न्यूली इस्टेब्लिश कोर्स है यहाँ पर स्कूल है एन एफ एस यू में स्कूल ऑफ पुलिस साइंस एंड सिक्योरिटी स्टडीज़ तो उनके डायरेक्टली डीन से हम लोग बात करेंगे क्योंकि काफ़ी स्टूडेंट्स थे जो मुझसे इस कोर्स के रिगार्डिंग क्वेरीज सेंड कर रहे थे तो वो सभी क्वेरीज मैंने सर से बात की तो आप सभी के लिए अभी हम लोग बात करेंगे द डीन हिमसेल्फ स्कूल ऑफ पुलिस साइंस एंड सिक्योरिटी स्टडीज़ हु इज़ सर्विंग फॉर द कंट्री फॉर पास थर्टी सिक्स ईयर्स आप सोच सकते हैं वो कितने एक्सपीरियंसड पर्सन हैं जिनसे अभी हम लोग मिलेंगे ही इज़ एक्चुअली हैविंग अ डिफरेंट और आई एम ट्वेल्व टेलिंग यू गाइज वाई वाई टॉकिंग टू सर आई फील लाइक देर इज़ समथिंग लाइक आई नीड टू लर्न अ लॉट फ्रॉम सर सो आइए बात करते हैं सर से बहुत ही जल्दी विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच ऑफ आर टाइम चलिए ओके सर थैंक यू सो मच फॉर जॉइनिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू सो मच फॉर शेयरिंग योर टाइम विद द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर हैविंग डाउट रिलेटेड टू द न्यूली इस्टेब्लिश कोर्स इन द स्कूल ऑफ पुलिस साइंस एंड सिक्योरिटी स्टडीज सर थैंक यू सो मच फॉर कमिंग यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम एंड देर कुंट बिन अ बेटर डे देन इंडिपेंडेंस डे विच इज़ टूडे एंड माई वेरी बेस्ट विशेज for the independence day to you and your all your viewers thank you so much sir it's a pleasure to meet you sir here live like because i have heard so much about you and i'm very curious to know about uh, what was your career like uh, what was your life uh, when you were doing a job in air force can you please throw some light in your career you see i i don't think i ever thought of joining the forces when i was uh, growing up it was only when i was doing my graduation in physics that i joined ncc and oh, that wow. motivated me to join the forces and uh, that's how i joined air force and uh, once i joined i didn't realize that uh, 36 years went past just like that wow 36 yeah. years yeah. great yeah. sir so uh, i essentially uh, had uh, my career in two uh, main uh, streams one was about the operations and one was administration okay as far as operations is concerned i was a air traffic control officer wherein i got posted to large number of frontier uh, fighter bases and uh, i gained my proficiency the highest category again and thereafter i became an instructor also okay. for uh, training the young uh, atc officers oh, great. so in that i served at ambala i served at bikaner i served in the east in hasimara i served in bareilly i served in jamnagar i served in rajasthan in jodhpur okay. so that was a different thrill a different kind of uh, yes uh, enjoyment which i had even after listening to the words i am getting thrill my smile is not getting stopped <laughs> <laughs> while i'm listening to you and i'm so excited to see the attire sir that you are yeah. having the badges number of badges yeah. you are having it's so it uh, it's a feeling of proud and privilege to have you here sir thank you thank you thank you very much and uh, i got some unique opportunities during my career one was to serve in africa as a member of the united nations peacekeeping force for more than a year in the most dangerous uh, mission so far which okay. has been in congo Okay. The Democratic Republic of Congo. In the history of United Nations, this has been the biggest ever uh, and the most dangerous mission which has. So I got an opportunity to serve over there, which was a experience of its kind, uh, serving with armies and air forces of 35 or different countries. Wow! So that was one part. I also got to uh, serve in and uh, got trained in some of the most prestigious uh, institutions like the. defense services staff college at wellington in uh, near uti and the uh, college of air warfare in secunderabad okay so these are some of the uh, good training uh, which i got fortunately okay and now as far as the administration is concerned i had been into security and that is how i am here in the university okay i have been a chief security officer at uh, four different uh, premier air force bases I also commanded two Air Force Police units, and the, both of them important ones. One was in Delhi, one was for UP, Rajasthan, and Madhya Pradesh at uh, Agra Gwalior. Okay. And uh, then I was uh, the regional head of security in two different commands of Air Force, and finally I was the Pro Marshal of oh. the Air Force. Pro Marshal is the appointment which is a, a legal appointment. and okay. uh, you are in charge of air force police you are in charge of security okay. you are in charge of vigilance okay. and uh, you are into looking after the complete security of the air force at a 
higher headquarter level i strongly believe sir this uh, this lines of your this story of yours will inspire a lot of lot of students that uh, who are going to join nfsu right now and who all are watching video right now even i am getting thrilled and i'm i'm like i'm i'm speechless after listening this like literally you're most welcome to join air force air force has a lot of uh, lady officers in different <laughs> branches sure sir and sir a uh, few doubts were there related to, to the courses that we are having in the school we are providing the two courses msc homeland security and ambi police and security studies can you give some information about these two courses that we provide yeah uh, the national forensic sciences university which is one of its kind and a unique university uh, has been having a post graduate course on homeland security for a very very long time okay it's a niche uh, course uh, the only one of its kind in the country and uh, after seeing the success of this course for last about 8 to 10 years uh, the honorable vice chancellor dr vyas dr jm vyas decided that we need to expand the expertise in this field okay and uh, as a result a dedicated separate uh, department a school of police science and security studies has been established great and the mandate is to have a training not just in the security but various facets of security as well as policing and as a part of it we have made a humble beginning wherein we are having now a masters course in homeland security which is our flagship course and another one is a masters course in police science and security studies which essentially deals with uh, motivating people to join police force including the paramilitary force the armed police as well as uh, preparing them to take on the leadership roles in security in the industrial sector okay thank you so much for this valuable information sir and um Sir, uh, do we provide the course at Gujarat campus or De Delhi campus? It is at Gujarat campus only. Okay, so only Gujarat campus is there. And uh, one more question is there because this is a new course. So, how do students should prepare for its entrance exam? You see, as you know, there is no counterpart of these courses at a graduation level. Okay, so we do not expect uh, the students to have any basic knowledge in these fields. and so all that we are checking is about the general awareness okay what is the general awareness about uh, security situation about terrorism about the hazards like the natural weather hazards okay uh, important and the dangerous accidents which takes place in the industrial complexes right right, right. so we we just want uh, some kind of uh, insight into these kind of things and thereafter we take on okay sir what should be the eligibility criteria for these two courses The Homeland Security course is a MSc course. Okay. We are now uh, switched over to the Master of Science because we are now focusing on the security related technologies. Okay. So we are going to have a dedicated paper on cyber security, another one on contemporary security technologies like the drone technology, CCTV, access control, biometrics and all that. Okay. And the uh, another one is on the advanced uh, technologies which would entail uh, artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. machine learning, Okay. Internet of things like that. Okay, sir. So these are the things that we will uh, uh, we'll we so, will be so, providing. So this to is the people. reason why the MSc course requires a science graduate. Yes. Sir. And as long as you have got the basic understanding of science, yes, uh, whatever be the stream in which you have done your graduation, it's fine for us. Okay, sir. As far as the police and uh, security course is concerned, uh, it is uh, essentially an opening for rest of the graduates. Okay. So okay. while we would accept uh, science graduates, it's open. to arts graduates commerce graduates and management graduates wherein we will touch upon the security technologies but not as much in detail as we would do it for a homeland security course. okay sir so, so nah, as you said for the entrance exam they need to prepare uh, they need to know the general things so is there any specific uh, portion that we can tell to the students from science or from english or something like that we would have uh, the multiple choice questions 100 okay. of them without any negative marking okay and about 40% of them would be to check the basic merit okay, that means we would check out the knowledge of english okay, basic sir. mathematics 
logical reasoning okay that kind of thing we will check out and i the guess uh, yes the rest of the 60% we would as i mentioned uh, just earlier would be on the general awareness about the security situation within the country in the neighboring areas okay. the impact of terrorism hmm. and things like that and okay and uh, as uh, 45% would be the minimum eligibility like if you have 45% 55% 55% would be the minimum eligibility okay, for sir. a general category student and okay. 50% for the reserved category yes sir and uh, one most important thing sir student are asking what are the future scopes of the, of after doing this course you know security is not what it used to be earlier earlier uh, any major complex could uh, uh, manage with a retired army officer or a police officer things are not so anymore as you are aware yes sir the cyber security is a major uh, threat these days and uh, technological uh, insights are very important right sir okay so uh, we have uh, essentially we have got avenues in the corporate sector and industrial sector as a security executive yes sir in addition to that there is another field of auditing which has come up okay to check the financial frauds right so in multinational companies like pinkerton and kpmg our graduates uh, get uh, appointment to because they need a security background so okay. that is another field in which uh, they can work okay. and yet another field which has cropped up is about the security advisory services okay okay, okay. here based on open source uh, intelligence a comprehensive security situation report is prepared on a daily basis in some cases for any location in the world okay so depending on the interest of the industry okay. like somebody may know may like to know that what would be the situation in colombo right say one month from now right somebody may like to know what would be the situation on a daily basis in uh, paris okay so these are the people who prepare a comprehensive report based on their security orientation and intelligence okay. and uh, put up to those companies thank you so much for telling me sir because yeah. even i wasn't aware ab about this and very this is very new and emerging field i guess and uh, nobody can stop the future of the uh, students who will do this course i guess there are number of uh, opportunities after completing this course am yeah. i right sir that is true yes, that is sir. true yes sir and sir thank you so much for sharing this valuable information for the student uh, who want to join this course in NFSU and thank you so much for sharing your time with us sir. You're thank most you. welcome and I'm so happy that you have taken this initiative and I hope that more and more viewers subscribe to your channel and gain <laughs> for you. themselves. Thank you so much thank sir. You. All the best. Okay, thank Bye. you sir.